big question is, do we go by release date and start with Why Girls Rise of the Moon Shadows or chronologically by when the movie is supposed to take place and start with another day, another cosmic year? Doesn't matter what we start with, because we're going to watch them all. No sleep sleepovers are the best. All night, all you can eat snack buffet is set. Oh, snack buffet. Can you name two words that sound better together than snack buffet? Clearance sale, scientific discovery. It was a rhetorical question. Wow, look at this setup. Mmm, is that popcorn I smell? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Peaches. Peaches, you missed your cue. Uh, actually, we had to leave Peaches at the vet overnight. What? I thought she just had a tummy ache. It's all good, Polly Pie. Peaches is fine. Just needs some rest. But how will she rest without Edward Bunny Man the Fourth? She never sleeps without him. See? Peaches will be fine. Everyone at the vet's office is great with dogs. But no one knows Peaches like I do. She needs her bunny. We'll take it to her, right, girls? Absolutely. It'll give us more time to contemplate the order of our Y Girls movie viewing. And on the way back, we can pick up more candy. I mean, spinach? <laughs> All right, but you better hurry before they close for the night. Huh? They're closed already? Ugh, looks like we missed them by three minutes and 27 seconds. Oh, hold up, I see signs of life. Hello? Excuse me, bunny delivery. This is not the time to be getting your groove on. Hmm. We'll have to find another way in. Like this mail slot? Smart thinking, Shawnee. Tiny, wait, shouldn't we hide first? Nah, tiny power. Remind me to never install a mail slot in my home. Why? Because tiny people with a magical locket might slip through? Tiny people, tiny aliens, extra large mold spores. Mail slots are a real security risk. Honey, will you be my baby? I promise that I don't have rabies. Those lyrics are oddly specific. Peaches! The animals must be in that back room. Let's go big! Wait, my security senses are tingling. There! And there! And one more over there. Better stay pocket size and try to stay out of sight. Smart. There's Peaches. Come on! Okay, go, 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 go! Quick! One is Gwendolyn, the Malamute puppy. She likes to chase her tail and eat treats. Huh, I think Gwendolyn and I would get along. Peaches, my puppy baby sweetie peachy pumpkin pie. <laughs> Go Big Edward. Really, this is when you need me to be specific? <sighs> Go Big Edward Bunny Man the Fourth. <laughs> tail up. Floppy ears, relaxed jaw, that's one happy dog. <sighs> May all our future selves find someone who looks at us like Peaches looks at a slobbery, chewed up bunny. Watch this. It's my secret trick to get her to sleep. Do you think it works on people? That move would make me the ultimate Kerpow Master. Hi! Yeah, no, that's just weird. Although, I do have this itch on my back you could get. <laughs> Sounds like a <gasps> little tip swamp frog. <laughs> Peaches can't sleep with all that noise. Oh, poor little froggo. He looks even more annoyed than we do. Okay, no prob. We got this. We just have to cure his hiccups. <gasps> oh! The quickest way to get rid of hiccups is to get your heart pumping and breath rate up. One, two, three, four. Come on, frog. Your turn. Any second now. Uh, Lila, I hate to be that 
person, but I think your workout mix is starting to disrupt the other animals. And I think this frog feels the same way about P.E. as I do. Okay, I guess I'll have to get my steps in later. Hmm... There's evidence that being scared cures hiccups. So, what's your deepest, darkest fear? Uh, maybe spiders? Or wearing the same outfit as someone else? Or your peers realizing that you flaunt your intelligence to hide your social insecurities? How to cure hiccups. Oh, try eating something sour. I have extra sour balls from the snack buffet. Huh. But how will we get him to eat it? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Happy Froggy, happy Peaches. Now we can get out of here before we get caught. <sighs> and Peaches can rest while we get back to our movie marathon. Poor Peaches won't get a wake up sleep with all these loud animals. Right? Polly want a cracker? No, thank you. Right? Polly want a cracker? I said no thank you. Finally, all done. Polly, uh, want a cracker? Maybe you should just take that cracker, Polly. If this parrot keeps squawking, that nurse will come in and catch us. We need to cover the parrot's cage. Then he'll go back to sleep. Aw, a burrito. We can use that blanket. Tiny power! Ready! Go long! Go big blanket! Good aim! Success! Uh... <laughs> They're all waking up! You're a good girl. You're okay. Isn't she so cute? Yeah, cute's one word for it. Lila, toss me your blazer. No way! It's my favorite thrift store find. <sighs> yep, no problem. Here you go. <laughs> Grow it, Polly! Go big blazer! I know, it does look better on her. <sighs> The turtle sleeps tonight. <sighs> Now we can go home. Let's slip out that window. I hope Pierce hasn't eaten our entire snack buffet. I could eat three snack buffets after all the work we just did. Luckily, I brought enough sour balls to hold me over. I was so scared about getting caught the whole time, I couldn't even think about food. But now... Oh boy. What? Fear not, my furry friends. I'm coming for you. It's okay, sir, sleeps a lot. Oh, I got you, Hoppy Scotch. Snuggle in, Rapunzel. Huh, where did this jacket come from? Is this your bunny, Peaches? Pleased to meet you, Edward Bunny Man. He knows what Peaches likes? He knows what they all like. Huh. I guess Mom and Dad were right. 
Peaches is in good hands here. Time for our no-sleep sleepover? Yeah, I'm always ready to watch the Y girls kick some asteroid belts. I'm adrenaline rushed and ready to go. I may never sleep again. <sighs> I need sour candy. So, it starts like this. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom ruled by Princess Pineappleine. That's me! She's fair, just, brave, all that good ruler stuff. And adored by all in the kingdom, including her best friends, the Pineapple Wizard and Pineapple Knight. <laughs> but her super awesome kingdom was no match for a giant. <laughs> or his pet dragon. They were forced to flee the kingdom. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? She's getting to it. We shall reclaim our home, for I am Princess Pineappleine, and like the noble pineapple, I'm... Tough outside, sweet inside, and, and sharp, sharp on the top. So the princess and her friends gotta get their castle back and rescue the prince, who's the dude in distress. Uh, hold on. The prince was kidnapped? Shh! This is the best part! Pineapple princess power! Pineapple magic! Do I get cool armor? Uh, nope. Do not worry, sweet prince. We're on our way to rescue you. Seriously, this story is totally unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's not supposed to be realistic. That's why it's filed under fantasy. You'd like it more if you actually read it. No offense, but Polly's recap isn't as good as the book. Lila's right. Nothing could be as good as this book. Shoo! Go pick on someone, well, bigger than your own size. Like those people over there. That new hoity-toity resort is a bit much. There's only a pocket slice of beach left. That's all we need. Who wants all that extra sand? Well, while you three play princess, I'm gonna enjoy some real literature. <laughs> Whose idea was it to use ketchup packets for pillows? <laughs> <laughs> Tough, sweet, sharp. It's ridiculous. Nobody's all those things. If it's so ridiculous, why is it the best-selling book of summer? I like the best book of summer. <laughs> well, kids, I've got some fish to meet. Back in a splash. Don't you even think about it. Nick, you're not getting it because you haven't heard the best part. So, they know that every dragon has a weak spot. They love belly rubs. Yeah! They do that to get past the dragon. But they still gotta save the prince from the tower. The knight, who's unquestionably the strongest girl in the land, Whoa. she tells Liz, had to scale the tower to reach the prince. As she climbed, he yelled, Help! How'd you know that's what he said? Help! Help me! Help! Help! Nick! Doggone it! Go big! <laughs> Where do you three think you're going? Hi, we're just looking for our friend. He's in here. Trust me, you don't have friends here. Please make your way back over the rope. If you just let us... No exceptions! 
Take your pint-sized business back to the <laughs> public beach. Pint-sized, huh? How about pocket-sized? Tiny power! <laughs> Spring, but uh, remember me. Let's save our bumbling prince. Bumbling? More like, oh, uh, oh what's the word? <laughs> Alley, <-wop! laughs> Oof! Huh, that seemed way easier in the book. Hmm. What if <gasps> you're a genius? <laughs> Outside. Princess Pineappleine doesn't seem so impossible now, does she? Well, it's still. Did sort you not want to be rescued? <sighs> <sighs> Thanks. Maybe I. Oh, you can apologize later. Now hang on. To what? <laughs> Pineapple <laughs> Princess Power! Power! I could have gotten out of there if I just had a little more time. Well then. Prince not charming. What's our next move? Well, we need to get out of here before. <laughs> She's back! <gasps> Woo! New toys! <laughs> Make like a toy and freeze! <laughs> Silly Prince, who took you down from the tower? Where did you come from? <gasps> Maybe one of you can be the prince's bride. Maybe we play entrepreneur instead of bride. I hope be quiet. My girls are talking. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Come quick! Coming, Cordelia. Run for it! Gotcha! <laughs> We should go! Polly! Whistling won't help! Trust me, I'm a genius! <laughs> Ever ridden a furry dragon? <laughs> Good girl! <laughs> and sharp on the top! How's that for pineapple princess power? Well, I admit it's... <laughs> Sweetheart, my dolls used to talk to me too. And Lynette, come here, Pooty Poo Poo! Oh, there you are. 
What have you kids been up to? Shawnee tamed a dragon! Lila climbed a tower! Polly escaped the giant! It was just like Princess Pineappleine! I thought Princess Pineappleine was unrealistic. Sweet, tough, and sharp? Impossible! Uh, okay, fine. She's really cool, and so are her friends. Magical armor, and dragons, and giants. I just said all that because... Well, because I didn't want to be stuck in a tower. I want to be one of the heroes. Well, I can't blame you for that. You can be the hero, you know, with a little imagination. Mind if I borrow that book? Read away, Nicholas. To defeat the Contessa Stravessa. That's me. <laughs> only one creature has the skills and bravery required for such a task. <laughs> the Pineapple Prince and his band of brave knights. <laughs> Tough outside, sweet inside, and sharp on the top. <laughs> Polly, you almost forgot this. No need, I got my mini travel toothbrush. <clears throat> oh, great. Did you remember to pack your PJs? <clears throat> yep, I got everything. <clears throat> but it's just one bag. How can you have everything you need for a sleepover in there? I don't need much because tonight is all about practicing for our performance tomorrow morning at the Senior Center's bi-weekly breakfast banquet. Oh, what about your special nightlight? Mom, I'm 11 now. I don't need a nightlight. <clears throat> Okay, but did you pack your instrument? Of course I brought my instrument. Please, Mom, I'm not a little kid anymore. You're right, honey. I guess I still think of you as my little girl. And I just don't want you to forget anything. Look at you. You packed everything on your own and all in one bag. <sighs> you really have grown up. Sweetie, the Pestomatic 3000, the most advanced home security system and pesto maker in the world, is finally ready to go. Yes, dear, I know. The whole neighborhood knows since you've been shouting about it all week. I'm just so excited that we're actually going to catch that rascally raccoon tonight. Just watch. It's got nets, drones, lasers, lights, and more. It can catch anything. Including us. Uh, <laughs> uh. All right, then. I better go. Oh, I'm gonna miss you tonight. Okay, have fun. And if you need me, just... Mom, I'm a grown-up, remember? Right. My little girl is, I guess, grown-up. Bye! Sorry I'm late. Got caught in Dad's new high-powered security system. <laughs> Looks like he did, too. Oh, hey, girls. <laughs> Everything's cool? It's all good? Networks? <laughs> now that the band's all here, we should practice for the big show. I got my jug. I've got my washboard. And I've got my spoons right here. No, it can't be. No, 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 no! Go big costume! Go big couch! Go big wig! Go big makeup! Go big kitchen sink! Oh, no. This is my worst nightmare! Whoa. Relax, Polly. I've got plenty of spoons in the kitchen. No can do, Shawnee. Grandma gave me those spoons. If she sees me without them tomorrow, she'll be crushed. And I need them tonight so I can practice my big spoon solo. Let's just call your mom. No, no, no! You don't understand! This is the first time I packed without Mom's help. If she finds out I forgot my spoons, she's gonna think I'm a little kid forever. We have to break into my room. But how will we get by the new security system? Oh, yeah. The pesto pasta eight million. <gasps> hmm. Are you shrinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Around 
on these trip lasers is impossible. Please, Shawnee, I've watched a lot of spy movies, so I know that when someone says it's impossible, that just means it's time to unleash our secret weapon. An invisible car? A laser watch? Cool, but no. The secret weapon is always a dramatic catchphrase, like, you're trying to crisscross the wrong girls. Ooh, or, smell your laser alarms. Oh, I've got the best catchphrase ever. Let's hurry up and get my spoons. Eh, not very catchy. My spoons have to be in here. Now push slow. <laughs> ah! Your dad must have sprung for the upgrade with contact sensors for all the windows. Abort! Abort! Raccoon! <sighs> False alarm. Score one for the raccoon. You're rooting against me? More like for the raccoon. She's just trying to eat. <sighs> mm -hmm. Look, you've been up late every night for weeks trying to catch that raccoon. Here, maybe you should eat too. Try a PB and chocolate sandwich. <gasps> Someone beat me to it! <laughs> raccoon! What? Where'd it go? I'll catch this raccoon by thinking like a raccoon. Dad's performance art classes are really paying off. I'm impressed and embarrassed. Let's tail the raccoon as it goes back inside. Come on. Hey, I know that raccoon. I leave her peanuts every night, and on Thursdays she gets lasagna. With extra mozzarella. Oh, so good. What? Sometimes I need a late night snack. Best lawn lasagna I've ever had. Honey, can you stop playing raccoon for a second and turn off those sirens? Uh, <laughs> sorry, hon. Uh, got lost in my character. <laughs> She's on the roof. Come on. <laughs> The Pestomatic 3000 includes the trademark Santa Stomper. The second that raccoon makes contact in the fireplace, it's game over. <laughs> Impressive spy moves for a rodent. I wonder what her catchphrase is. Probably, say hello to the Ferminator. Less catchphrase, more catching. Come on! <laughs> He's really exhausted himself with this raccoon thing. Maybe we should catch the raccoon for him so he can go back to normal. <laughs> but what about your spoons? We'll catch the raccoon for Dad first, then spoons hmm. on the way out. There! <laughs> Raccoons! <sighs> oh, that was close. Now's our chance to get that raccoon so my dad could get some rest. Let's tiny up some loose ends, kitchen twine style. Yeah, this bandit picked the wrong pocket. Excellent catchphrase. Sweet. <laughs> Cut you red pod. Your dad's gonna flip when he wakes up and sees that we finally caught the raccoon. And her totally precious babies. Huh? Oh. oh, I gotta get some coffee to stay awake. According to my calculations, the peanuts you were leaving for her weren't enough to feed her and her new family. <laughs> you can tell all that from a calculator? Ah, <laughs> the wonders of math. Huh. <gasps> Dad alert! We can't let him take their mama away. Tiny power mama raccoon! Go big us! Raccoon? <laughs> Where? <laughs> what? No raccoons, <laughs> just us. Polly, Shawnee, Lila, another false alarm. What are you doing here? I, uh, forgot to say goodbye before I left. But you did say goodbye. Oh, 
Well, then I, uh... You forgot something, didn't you? Yes, that's it. I, uh, forgot my spoons. Mom was right. I guess I'm still just a little kid who forgets things. <laughs> it takes a little courage and a big kid to admit something like that. And your mom knows that's just what you are. She does? Absolutely. And even big kids need help sometimes. That's why mom left your spoons on Shawnee's front step. I don't know how you could have missed them on your way over. What's in your pocket there? Uh, my lucky, uh, grasshopper? Your lucky what? Gotta go practice. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Polly Pie, you must have dropped these on your way over. Love you, Mom. So what do we do with the bandit? If we let her go, we'll be subjected to more of your dad's raccoon performance art. Go big, Mama Raccoon! <whistles> You're a good mom, just like my mom. And you do anything to take care of your babies. But it's not okay to break into our house and steal. Especially because that means you're keeping my dad up all night. But I want you and your babies to have plenty of food. So from now on, if you promise not to steal anymore, I'll leave you peanuts every night, lasagna on Thursdays, and a PB&C sandwich on weekends. Deal? Let's just get that in writing. Paw there, please. <laughs> So exclusive to play something that no one else in school plays. Snack break! And that's why I play the spoons. <laughs>